Hello YouTube! So it's finally time to have the uh, weirdest of all the typical organs that people eat, and I say typical, ones you can find anyway. So we have sheep fry. And if you say, what is a sheep fry? Well, these are sheep fry, of course. Another name for sheep fry would be testicles. So we have two testicles. You can see where they were attached and removed, and the rest of it has a skin. Now, uh, I could cut into it raw, but I'm going to throw these in boiling water, and I'm going to cook one of them, uh, the smallest one, I'm going to cook very quickly, and I'm going to have that tonight or tonight and tomorrow, depending, uh, for dinner and breakfast or just dinner tonight, depending on how hungry I am for it. Um, it's, you know, it's big enough, right? There's a couple, you know, a couple big mouthfuls there. The other one's a little bit bigger, and I'm going to cook this one longer and do something that I don't normally do with it anymore, but when I first started eating testicle, I cooked it more than I do now. So... I'm gonna throw them both in water. Now what's gonna happen is they both have an outer skin and if you see the blood vessels all around the outside, uh, look what happens when we do, when we just cook it and boil it for a minute, the outer skin is going to pop off. Uh, again, just like, a, like you might think of like a grape and we're gonna be able to get in the inside. And so let's go ahead and throw those in water. Now we're gonna throw them in boiling water. Uh, that should boil and it's not gonna be long before I take one of them out and we're gonna start looking at it. The second one I'm gonna leave in. Now it's, it's about, right, a little bit bigger than an egg. You're gonna to wanna to leave it boiling for, you know, five to 10 minutes uh, at least, probably to get it all the way cooked through. So probably 10 minutes from now is how long we're gonna boil the larger one. If you're unsure, you could go 15. You're not gonna do any damage to it. You're just gonna make sure that it's well cooked. And I'm just gonna leave them in here for a few minutes and it won't take long, as I said. The skin's gonna pop. As soon as the skin pops, I know that I've cooked the outside enough uh, that I can take it off and I'm going to feed that to the dog who will eat it. And then we're going to take a look at, uh, testicle that's inside the inside. And there we go. Skin's already popped. So we're done. So I don't know what that was. 30 seconds to a minute. All right. And let's take a look at that first one. Well, I'm going to leave the second one to cook while we go. So here we go. You can see it's first open now. So we have our testicle over here. We just took it out and you can see that the skin popped, but it's still attached on one side. And so if there's any germs, right, there's going to be two places where we're worried about germs on the outer layer, of course, and that's already popped off and then possibly right where it was detached uh, from the main area, which I can't even tell right now because it's been cooked a little bit. So I'm going to finish removing this, this uh, flesh, this outer layer. Um, and by heating it, it, you can see it just peels right off. There we go. And all the ugly looking parts, right, are actually in this outer layer all the blood veins and funny things. So this go into my dog. He's gonna like this right now. Ready? Oh, he must have said that's all right. And I could leave this cooked on, but I actually don't like the half cooked flavor. So I'm just gonna cut a bit off, uh, just a bit of the cooked part off, a bit of the edges. And I'm gonna give this to the dog as well. Let's get a little bit of it. Now, once I'm done doing that, there we go. All right, so this is mostly raw, of course, on the inside. And I want to keep this again mostly raw because I want to try. There you go. I want to try and maintain the vitamin C. So testicles don't have a lot of nutrients in them. I, I wouldn't say that they're a food that you would want to eat just because of all the nutrients. Um, if you want to try it because they're kind of fun or a little bit different or just to be adventurous, uh, then sure, you might want to have a testicle. But there are uh, there is good vitamin C in here. So this uh, can be uh, very chewy when it's when it's still raw. And so just like the thymus is quite chewy when it's raw, it has the same kind of texture in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create sliders, essentially. And I'm gonna eat these like I would a mussel or a caviar or, um, well, I chew my snails, but you could even do it the same as snails. All right, anything small that you might wanna just, slide right back you can do uh, if you don't like the taste at least um, maybe if you like the taste of caviar you'll chew it instead uh, I don't mind the flavor all right so these are all bite-sized pieces and I, I don't really want to spend a lot of time chewing it you could but like I say it's quite chewy and if you want you could salt too so you certainly don't need to all right so hmm this isn't as chewy as last time I remember but at some point, it turns into like a slider. We're just going to slide it down. And if you want, you could add a bit of salt too. Um, I really don't 
normally add salt too much, but I kind of feel like it today. So anyway, this is just fine. Now, you might think to yourself, man, that is disgusting. I can't believe you're eating that. But the reality is, it's actually quite good tasting. Surprisingly, you would think it's bad. <clears throat> and I actually prefer it when it's not cooked. It tastes better, I find. So, but it was safe because I did the outside. So <clears throat> I'm gonna have, um, I think I might finish this right now. You don't have to watch me eat the whole thing. I'm gonna wait another five minutes for the other one to finish cooking. And then we're gonna take a look at that one. Okay, and we'll cut that one open. We'll take a look at that. And we're gonna prepare it then in two different ways once we cook it. Um, the first way is I think I'll chop it up and we'll add it into scrambled eggs. And so we'll have a kind of like um, uh, scrambled eggs and pork, uh, except it won't be pork. In this case, this is sheep, but anyway. Uh, and the other way I'm gonna do is a little bit different. I've never seen it, anyone else do it this way, but I'm going to make, here you go, buddy. I'm going to make, um, I'm gonna bake testicle fries. So I think you'll you'll find those interesting. Anyway, uh, we'll see you back then, okay, five minutes? Welcome back. So I let this one cook for a good five or 10 minutes, uh, well, more than it was already, so a good 15 or 10 or 15. And you can see that the peel now has gotten quite small. Uh, it's right on the edge here. So there's the rest of the peel. Uh, we can pull that off. Oh, we got a little bit extra, but anyway, whatever. There's the rest of the skin. So there's the skin off. So the rest of this, I'm going to, oh, oh, there's some more skin on this side, actually. It looks like it's splitting too. So we can take that skin off if you want. You, of course, don't have to, um, really, but it peels off. All right, so skin is peeling off. There's the skin. I'll give that back to my dog. He'll finish that on his own. So here's the cook part. So I'm going to take uh, some of the stuff that's not going to be so nice to turn into uh, slivers. So it looks like maybe that. And I think I'm just going to throw this in with some scrambled eggs. And you can see that if you cut it up, and, you know, to be quite honest, if you put this in with scrambled eggs and didn't tell someone what it was, they would probably not even notice or make a comment about it. They'd probably wonder a little bit because they wouldn't recognize the flavor, but that's about it. And you can see it's, oh, I didn't quite cook it 100% all the way through. It's just a tiny bit of color, but that's pretty good. Usually it doesn't fall apart this much. This one's falling apart more than normal. Uh, and I'm going to try to now just make some slices here. And I'm going to, you can either bake or fry. I'm going to try to bake these slices and create essentially uh, something I did before, testicle chips. So there's three chips I'm going to make. And, well, this is easy. You can just add these to scrambled eggs. So uh, will I show you that? Sure, I'll probably eat it that way now that I've already cut it up. So I'll show you that once I make it. And I'm going to try and bake these in the oven to turn them into a little bit crispier chips. And I'll show you what those look like when I'm done as well. All right, so we'll come back for both of those when I do more cooking, probably uh, tomorrow, since it's already cooked. I'll leave this in the oven tonight and make eggs tomorrow morning, probably, or something like that. Anyway, I'll show you. Welcome my back, YouTube. So today I'm going to finish off uh, the video on testicles. I'm doing my own camera work today. Uh, so last time we did raw testicles, we ate those and we cooked one of them. And I said I was going to do some with scrambled eggs, and I was going to turn some into testicle fries. So let's take a look at making the eggs, and the testicle fries are cooking. Those should be ready. All right, to make the scrambled eggs, I have eggs, obviously, and I like to use heavy whipping cream, 35% fat. The fatter, the better. They take a little bit longer to cook, but they taste better. Here's our chopped up testicles, and I'm going to add some Jarlsberg cheese. Now, if you don't like cheese, you don't have to add any, of course. I like Jarlsberg in particular because it has the highest source of vitamin K2 of any cheese. So this is the, the best for K2. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the cream. There we go. Maybe a bit more. There we go. That's enough. And I'm going to mix this up like scrambled eggs. I'll add in my testicles and we'll make that up. And then we'll take a look at that along with the testicle fries that I've made. So I won't bother. I think everyone here knows how to make scrambled eggs. So I'll throw those in and we'll be back in all just right, a minute. that didn't take very long at all. So here we see our scrambled eggs with testicles. And like I said before, if you didn't tell someone they were testicles, they would think it was ham and we would have no issues. I'm just going to add some cheese on top. There we go. I'm going to let that melt for one second. While that's melting, let's just go over here and look at these testicle fries I made. So if you look at these, these are now hard. 
and there's one fry. You can see a little bit of the edge right where we took off the skin on this particular one, but the other ones are there. They're all hard. They're nice and crispy. I salted them before I baked them, and I baked them for a grand total of about uh, 10 minutes per side, so about 20 minutes, and they are now crispy, and I'm going to have those. They are going to be okay, delicious. Okay, so we're all done. Let's take a quick look, and we can see that we have the chips and the eggs and the testicles and it actually looks very good and just to kind of give you an idea here's one of the testicle chips tastes pretty darn good and like i said i bet you you could give this to someone especially if it's salted and they wouldn't have no clue what you were feeding them they probably think it tastes good just like regular doesn't really taste like ham but you could probably trick them and say it was because it tastes just fine this is going to be my dinner Bye-bye for now. We'll talk to you later.